Hi there, and welcome back to another video. So in a previous video where I showed you how to set up harvester machines on multiple computers on the same network, I, I was showing it with using uh, Ubuntu. But a lot of people asked me if I could do the same tutorial using multiple Windows machines, and I definitely can. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So the first thing, you can skip this step if you already have Chia installed. You can just go ahead. But you're going to want to go to the Chia.net uh, website, install Chia blockchain, grab Windows, up here, Chia Blockchain Windows, click Save File, and it will start downloading. I will come back once it's finished downloading. Okay, so I now have the executable. Um, so I'm going to copy this, and I'm actually remote it into my, the, my remote Windows machine um, right here. So I'm going to paste it here to copy it over. Now it might take a couple seconds. Okay, so now that it's finished copying over, we're just going to launch it like we would normally when we installed uh, Chia on our main machine. Okay, and here we're going to click Allow Access like we normally would. Alright, so once that is accepted, then we can close out of the main window. We don't need to enter our mnemonic uh, phrase or anything like that. We don't want to add that because that makes this machine less secure. So let's go ahead and close that, wait for the server to close, and then uh, we'll open up the command line and get started from there. Okay, so before we open up the command line, let's actually go to the wiki on how to do this again. It's just always good to go back to your reference. So we can skip this step because we already got installed. We're not plotting right now. So we can come to this step where it says make a copy of your main machine uh, CA, which is Certificate Authority Directory. And this is where it's located. So let's go ahead and open up our um, file explorer. We'll go to our C drive. Go to the uh, users your username dot chia mainnet and then we'll go to config ssl and then we'll copy this directory right here the ca directory so i'm going to hit copy and then we just need to copy this anywhere on the remote machine so i'm just going to put it on the desktop okay so now that we have this copied over let's go ahead and go back to our reference so the next step is says to make sure that this uh, IP address and port are accessible. As long as it's on the same network, this should be fine. Now the next step is saying to shut down all services. So let's just copy that command. Let's open up PowerShell. And, but first we have to go to where the Chia command line lives. So you can do this by doing CD for change directory. Type in the dollar sign env colon. And then type in local app and then just hit tab complete. And then hit the backslash, type out Chia, tab complete again, um, and then just hit uh, app and then tab, and then from there you're going to want to do resources, and then the app unpacked, and then Damien. So now that we're in here, we can use the Chia uh, command line, so we can do Chia H. But let's run the command that they told us to run. So let's do chia stop all dash d. Oops, we actually had, since we're in uh, Windows, we have to do the dot exe. Um, oops, we have to dot source it. So, you know, even though I'm making mistakes, these are good so that you can see where you could possibly make mistakes too. And then there it says that we actually haven't even started it since we shut it down earlier so we don't have to worry about that so let's go ahead and go back and here we can see that we can we run chia initialize c and then where that folder that we copied over so i copied mine over on the uh, desktop so let's do chia let's make sure that we do dot and then uh, backslash chia and do uh, initialize so i n i n t i believe i n i yeah and then do the dash C. And then now we're going to do C with a colon uh, backslash users, your username. And then you're going to go to the directory um, that you that you saved it. So you can also open a file explorer, uh, go to where you saved it. So in this case, and then click here and just hit uh, control C. 
and just copy it in from here. Now if it does have spaces, make sure that you do double quotes or single quotes and have it in between those quotes or else it, it will fail. So let's hit enter. Okay, so here you can see that's copying it over and that is perfect. All right, so now uh, let's set up the harvester. First we gotta add the plots. So if we do um, Chia um, plots, and then show, it will show us the current directories that it's looking for plots. So we haven't added any on this harvester, so we'll have to add these. Now if you're using a full node on this harvester, it probably already has the plots already, but since you're not gonna be using it as a full node, it might be helpful to learn how to add them in the command line. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Let me get uh, my plot location. Okay, so I've connected my hard drive to this computer. It's actually mapped to the D drive, and you can see that I have 10 plots in this directory. Let's first go back to our my full node. Um, and if we look on my farm page, you can see that I don't currently have a harvester that has 10 plots. So whenever we're done uh, setting up the harvester, we'll see one that, ha that says either zero to 10 or how many uh, plots pass the filter. So let's go back to the uh, remote machine. And then here we need to add the directory. We need to add this directory to look for these plots. So what we'll do is do Chia do plots and then do add and then you're going to want to do the dash d parameter and then add the directory so you can again just copy and paste the directory if you want or you can type it out so mine's really short so i'm just going to type it out and you should see an output that looks like this added plot directory and this is the plot so you can also do this real fast just to make sure that it's seeing the plots and it's good to check your plots is do chia plots check and then I'll run a check on all the plots. So let me let this run. Okay, so it's done checking the plots. And now, uh, since we didn't add our keys to this harvester, you are gonna see this warning at the bottom that says there's 10 plots or however many plots you have, and the farmer and pool public key don't match this machine. And that's perfectly normal because we didn't add our private keys to this machine because it's less secure. So if you see this, this is fine. As long as the plots show up whenever we're finished on your full node, then we're, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and go back to the reference page to see what we need to do next. Okay, so here it tells us that we need to change the configuration file to have it point at our full node. So we need to add our main machine's IP address. And if you don't know how to get the IP address, you can do, um, go to PowerShell and type out IP config, and this will give you your IP address. You're gonna to wanna to grab the one that says IPv4, and if you're connected with the ethernet, you're gonna to to grab the ethernet one. All right, so minimize that. And then it says that we wanna connect it to the port 8447 right here. Now, um, it says to change this, you know, go to the configuration file, but I find it easier to use the command line. So let's go ahead and go back to the remote machine. And what we're gonna do is use the chia configure uh, command. So let's do chia configure, and let's do the dash H to see how we can use this command. Okay, so here you can see that we want to set the farmer peer, and we can do this by the IP and then do a semicolon and do the port number, which is gonna be 8447. So if we do chia configure, and then we do dash dash set farmer peer, and then we do our IP address, which mine is 10.0.0.63. Um, 0 and then you want to do the semicolon, and then 8447, and then just click enter. Okay, so now it says the farmer peer is updated. Make sure the harvester has the proper cert installed. We already did that when we copied over the cert and did the initialization. And it says restart any running Chia services. Well, we don't have any Chia services running, so we don't have to worry about that. But we do need to start the Chia uh, harvester. So we can do this by doing um, Chia. And again, I always do dash H just because I don't have a very good memory. And here we can see we have a start command. So let's do start. And I believe you can just type out harvester after that. It will start up the Damien, I'm pretty sure, and start up the harvester right afterwards. Yep, so it says the Damien's not started. Starting Damien. 
and now the Chia Harvester started. So now let's go back to our full node and see if it's showing up. And sure enough, we have one that says zero out of 10. You know, whenever it does pass filters, we'll see how many will pass filters. Unfortunately, it does not show in the plots. So this will not get updated. And additionally, your expected to win time will only be the plots that your full node is, is on your full node machine. However, you know, this being accurate doesn't affect how many you actually win. And so this is just to help you. Um, so this is completely working. Now, if you're not satisfied with just seeing this and you want to double make sure that it is working, well, at the bottom of this wiki, it kind of tells you, it says currently the GUI doesn't show harvester plots, which is true. Um, however, you can add a uh, the, the log to info, so it will uh, log these things, so it, it will tell you whenever you're sending uh, signature points to your harvester and when you get uh, a proof of space uh, back from your harvester. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So you open up um, PowerShell on the full node, and then you'll go to that same path, the um, CD EMV uh, local app, and then you'll go to, let me just copy and paste it. All right, so now that we're in this directory, you're going to want to do chia um, configure and let's do dash h again. And I actually, um, and here we can see that we can set the log level. So what you want to do is do chia um, dash dash set log level and then do info and then just click enter. I've already set mine to info, so I don't really need to do this again and then once you do that well then you can check your logs now where are your logs well you open up uh, file explorer and then we can go to um, go to the c drive go to users your username dot chia mainnet and then go to log and then here are your logs so these log files the ones that have um, the, the numbers after them are our previous log files and they just put the number after them to cancel out um, the the log so it creates a new one now if you only see debug you don't see the dot log you want to go to view and then check this little hidden I or uh, check the file name extension and then you should see that um, so if we open up the debug log and then you want to scroll all the way down if you just set this up and then for me, let me just go ahead and do a search. And here, yeah, we can see new signature point harvester. So th I think that one, the, the wiki is a bit outdated because I do, I do only see the harvester and this is correct. All right, and that should be it. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. I do plan on showing you how you know, let's say that your computer restarts. I, I do want to show you how to automatically start the harvester uh, without having to remote into your computer or go to the harvester computer. But that, I'll leave that for another video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. And if you have any other video videos you like me to make, just let me know and leave them in the comments. All right, bye.